guys. So, I have a special announcement. Like you can see in the title, it's a special announcement. I didn't say what it was, but are you guys ready? Because this news is pretty big, like life changing. <sighs> Today is February 12th. I took a day to process this because I was, I didn't know how to say it because I'm like, <gasps> like what? Like I, I just didn't know how to react. So, yesterday, February 11, at 12.50 in the noon time, like afternoon, when me and my dad are doing errands, because uh, I was getting my SP license, being registered, uh, all that and that, and then when my dad went into Robinson's, I'm in the parking lot, my dad went in to go get some groceries and I'm alone in the car, what happened was, I was filming a TikTok, just, you know, doing my little dances, you know, and then one, I had like a problem with my school because they put me down as international students at Filipino. So I was talking in the TikTok about that. But instead, like I received a text message right in the middle of I was talking. And it's life changing. It shocked me. So I'm going to show you the TikTok of the, like my original reaction, how I reacted when I saw that news. So here. So this is how my First, my school, like it's something I have no idea. Let's go home and I just cut the rent space that I've been trying to book since a August and it's February and I just got a text message that the that I it's open like the spot is open like like not that time like I will exactly like get in there but I mean like that's the time where this contract signing will be and I will have a permanent location for my business because this past two years I've been going in temporary locations back and forth carrying everything like I had no permanent location so I'm like I'm in shock right now because this is life changing guys like this is life changing because I always wanted to start a business. I'm student right now as well as doing a bunch of other things, but this was has been my dream. In the first half, I didn't expect to get this far, but I, I'm just in shock. I just don't know what to say. Wish me the best of luck, guys. Your girl's gonna have a permanent location for her business. Oh my goodness. As you can see in TikTok, I am very hyper, excited, mixed emotions. Because during the TikTok, right when I saw the text, it was like it wasn't like number of a name. So when I saw it, it was a text from an owner of a rent space. It was an owner from a rent space. I've been trying to get since August, but there was two people who took it in front of me, and now it's open. <laughs> Oh, it was open and he, he messaged me and he said that like I said I promise I was gonna message you first right when the open was up so they the person who was there they gave him their 30 day notice regarding them leaving and I thought it was a different locate a different like there's five slots there but it like that end is like the one I won't say names but that one like I thought because but it was actually the one next to it and I didn't know so when I read the message after the TikTok I saw there it was the name and I was like I don't remember that place had the name so I said is it is it that place that you're referring to and he said no it's I'm like no I was going to say it to them like where do I see like hi neighbor but it was, it was like, I was so sad because those people are so friendly, they're so nice, they're so kind. I wanted to be neighbors next to them. It was them that was going, so, so, sorry. It's just, um, I'm still trying to process this because I'm, I didn't expect it to come this soon. But I was also expecting it because I was like, 
I'm expecting, but not that slot that would be the one. So I'm like so thankful. Thankful to the owner that he kept his promise and called me first. And this is a start of a journey, guys. Because my brand name has the number 18 on it. Mainly because when I will look back, they can see, the people can see that when did you start the business? I originally started when I was 16, I think, or 15. 16, I think, in January of like two, three years ago. And my logo will have 18 on it. Mainly because I'm legally at the age to own a permanent location. So I was like, I'm going to get a location. And the brand name would be on, with number 18 on it. Because that's when I got my first location. This 2022, like this February month, is like full of surprises for me. I just got a car. I bought a car. And I didn't expect that either. I wasn't wanting to get a car yet. I'm also going to get equipment for a camera and for you guys so you can have better quality videos for me. As well as better, I am interested in photography so I wanted a camera that I could take pictures from. And so far that's the news I have. This journey is going to be full of lots of more surprises. And I'm so glad that you guys can join the journey with me. So wish me the best of luck. I'm gonna need it because I'm entering into the real business world. I'm not gonna be in temporary locations anymore. I have I don't have to carry boxes from the van every day, twice a day. I don't have to do that. With help around here, like I have so much help from the people around me. I had help from Jennifer and Jerry and James in, in taking photos of the products. I had help from my boyfriend Hubert in the very beginning where he's the one who addressed me the idea and like, oh you should start business because like you're into business I feel. So I, I decided yeah. So he helped me save up for this store and then he, we both decided that once we reach a certain amount then he would go with his passion in business because we have different business like wantings. I am interested in selling more and he's more into like entrepreneurship kind of style so like all of the people who helped me along the way thank you because I would never have reached this far and it's just still in shock because I'm like I'm 18 I got a car I got a, a career like in my hands like even though it's gonna be difficult for me to balance with my mom in school doing the sideline channel one like i have a lot going for me so thank you guys so much so i'll be seeing you in the next video on the process of this so have an amazing day guys love you bye And that is why one of my businesses I plan to do in the future. Actually, where I keep all my business equipment for now, because one, I'm not old enough to buy a place or rent because I'm not the age of 18 yet. But this is like the little storage room, which is actually a guest bedroom. If ever there's this doors. But this is the storage area on where I put my stuff. So for you to know more on what I go through when I do this selling, I put everything in boxes, then I deliver, uh, not deliver, I bring them to the restaurant that I, it's not my restaurant, but a friend is letting me go there for more experience on how business works. 
But in there, then I load, unload my stuff, I put together, I organize, I do a lot of process for this just to work on one day a week, which is on Wednesdays. Today is just a weekend where I organize everything, make sure everything's ready because I have school so I don't have enough time to keep managing between everything. So to make it easier on weekends, I check on this stuff. So we arrive in Bamboo Bobs. This is the area that I'll be putting my business at. So I'm here outside and I want to give you guys a little bit tips or like a little tour of Bubble Bob's itself. This is not a paid promotion or anything. I just want you guys to have a look. Bubble Bob's have this golf thing. I'm very adaptive. I'm very <laughs> adaptive. <laughs> Come and try our golf. So, time to pack up! Hello everyone! Welcome back to my small business and that now it has expanded since last March that I've uploaded that video. And I shall say that it has grown with more products and amazing quality. Some of the new stuff. And if you saw a Church Prophets Girls video that she did with me, there was actually a lot more of that. But lots of people have been liking them, so very good. <laughs> so some updates. I tried to put like another little rope up here because I have still some more stuff that I haven't put. This box just came in recently, so now I have to do it. Not reach that high. <laughs> so, oh, it's a struggle. I still have one last batch of clothes to put. So, let me try it again. In Deco Bar, I decided to have like a second location or like a third if I count my home as one of the locations. This is what happened when I tried to put the rope. I put clothes as it was already tied and then it just boop, all clothes fell down.
day now and there's still many stocks remain. It's not really busy today, so but I'm not really surprised because today is a working day for many people. Them's right here. So now it's the time, closing time. So it's time to pack up. YouTube channel so sorry I haven't been uploading much lately and on, on time but I've been really busy with school lately so yeah but right now I'm in Octagon restaurant which is here located in Manila so this one is going to be another temporary location that I'm having my small business Then I also have these whiteboards. I used to have a lot more, but I sold out. So now I only have four left of the girl side, and I also have one Avenger for boys. But for the toys, I also have this Arrow archery game. Childhood days of kids born in 2000 area, you will know that toy. I also have this girl doctor set. Over there, they have this donation box right here where you can donate toys and everything and clothes to every people. So this one you can just buy from here. And then bring it to the box. So even if it's not for you, as well as you're making someone else's day happier, it's better. My day is happy with just one purchase. And I just got one sale recently. She bought a flashcards for her son. Because he doesn't know how to spell or read correctly. So cheers to the mom. Very good. Thank you. As well as all of my other stuff. So now I'm going to eat. And here's all the boxes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of boxes. It's a lot of stuff. I have baskets there of lots of stuff. The one box is just for clothes, the plastic bags, and tablecloths. <laughs> 